Okay, and we're on again, and Husk is already spamming chat. <laughs> Who's, whose face is that? It looks familiar. <laughs> okay, so after a bunch of um, technical issues that Husky's really been a lot, lot help with. Just a Twitch emote. Oh. <laughs> um, finally got this all sorted. Um, and now we're... Was it streaming on OBS instead of Shadowplay? Because that turned out to be a piece of shit. Uh, yep, yep. All good. So yeah. Now streaming on all this shit now. Man, I can't believe how good quality this. Yeah, I mean it looks good on my end as well. And I'm not used to I'm not used to my stuff looking this good. Alright, okay, so uh several hours have gone by since communications with Aegis Laboratory have been cut off. Now two teams of highly trained Hades, Hexcore Advanced Division for Extraction and Search Operatives are called out to investigate. Their mission, find the missing researchers who seemingly vanished without a trace and retrieve sensitive, highly classified materials for a clandestine branch of the US government. Tasked with gaining access to the lower levels of the lab, Special Agent Leave barges into the second service entrance and it is there that he discovers the security system has initiated facility-wide quarantine, automatically shutting everyone in and serving a warning to who would be invaders that some kind of equipment has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Whew. Where's the king? What I do That's not a good move, I removing your own king. Where I can strategically exploit the most vulnerable envious. <laughs> May you do not have much to be envious of. You know, it's quite lucky for everything to be so smooth. Oh, believe me, man, if it's bad luck, I'm usually the one to get it. So this cleaner seems pretty pissed. Requesting the evacuation of all remaining personnel. Code blue, repeat. This is a code blue emergency. Please respond. Everyone, <coughs> please. My name is Rebecca Jordan. I'm a doctor at the Aegis Medical Facility on the North Ball Islands. We have a problem of some magnitude here. There's a situation in the building that requires there's been a terrible mishap. I, I think we need exposed to some kind of gas, a corrosive agent that latches onto the lungs. So this is extremely 90s movies kind of tropes. Like I know a lot of it's based off the old Resident Evil series, but yeah, very uh, every 90s horror action sci-fi movie just combined into one. Uh, I probably should turn up audio a bit more, like up by half if you get me. Uh, okay, we'll do. Okay, let me know how that is when it uh, works out. Should be okay, you can hear a bit of mic fuzziness in the background, so if you can turn down the mic just to Okay, yeah, we'll do it. Okay. Alright, let me know how that sounds. Pretty good actually to me at least. Well that's good then. If it's if it's good for you, then good for me. Cheers for all the uh, help. Really appreciate it. And now we can enjoy this cheese. Priority red. You do understand that this assignment could be our last. Well you know. If I were a betting man, I think I'd bet that the odds of uh making it home no with one piece are uh, a lot better with you on the battlefield. But that's if, you know, Gomer Pyle doesn't put us down first. Just shut the fuck up, Leaf. Leaf. Yeah. Don't let him get to you, kid. That shepherd squawks at anyone with a bigger stick, which is pretty much everyone. 
never should have pulled his ass out of that fire pit back in Bloom in '94. Thanks, Hayden. Or understood. Thing. Kiev. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of reminded me of um, movies like Predator and stuff like that, where every squad has like one of each trope. You know, like you've got the badass, you've got the one that worries all the time, and then you've got the one that's gonna absolutely crack and kill everyone else. I feel like this game is extremely familiar. Yeah, it, as I said, it just seems like every game and every movie from the 90s. Which I know it, it's supposed to be, but it's oh, it's incredibly strange. I mean, it's even got like the same kind of premise as Resident Evil. You know, like uh, facility, something bad's gone down. A task force has to go in, clean it up. Very twenty-eight days later as well. But um. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be a good one. It's like picking out all the r the really fun parts of these things. Cheesy sci-fi, going to have a cheesy dialogue as well. Going to be good. He says da. It reminds me of... Resident Evil along with Nightmare House 2 and SCP games. Yeah, now that you mention it, it does kind of have a SCP feel about it. And it's fine not to listen to this guy, just tell me like tutorial bullshit, I already listened to this earlier. Yeah, this gave me some Resident Evil. Oh, hey Tamala, nice of you to join. Yeah, it's all, um, all just like a loving homage to, to Resident Evil. Like, I mean, this guy is clearly like the hunk type character. So, this will be an interesting one. <laughs> Tabs, my inventory. Uh, this tab contains all those consumables and key items that the character finds throughout the game. It also contains the character's weapons in the upper section. This tab contains all the information about the character's health status and alterations. This tab contains the map of the area and information on the current objectives. This tab contains all documents, ID tags, and audio files that the character finds throughout the game. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't really look at this before. Um, wait, one, two, three, four to switch tab. Oh, wait, which tab am I on? Okay. Uh, okay, well, we'll deal with that later. Uh, hi, hi, hi there. I'm out of here. This dude's too famous for me to watch. Uh, sorry bro, I didn't mean to get it this far. I always forget the little people. Four flashlight. Yeah, this is definitely like going down in the hive kind of. <laughs> that, that gave me a prompt then. I thought someone gave me a prompt. No? Okay. Yeah, the one thing that I did find really strange about this game is look at the way this guy jogs. He looks, he looks happy. Like, I'm, oh, I'm not even gonna do a fucking impression, but he looks so jolly when he jogs. If you hear any volume issue, you can say we're trying to get it just right. Uh, it sounds good. Yeah, that would, um, that would really be helpful. Copy that. Objective confirmed. Looks like the contagion leaked out from a couple Maybe tanks crammed into the time. area. <laughs> Could be. Also sure signs of a firefight and <laughs> That's a PhD residue. in chugging. With the mission. Over. G where's this... Where's this light coming from? Like, oh, there, okay. It's too bright, I can hardly even see the light. But God damn. It's almost blinding. Let's see what we got. What's this? I need to open up the roof first. Okay. Uh, but now the game is on a Unreal Engine and it does look really nice. Like most games on this engine do. But yeah, definite like Dino Crisis um, 
feeling with this as well. Like Dino Crisis, oh, it's always good. Oh shit! Dino Crisis definitely, definitely up there as one of my favorite horror games. Okay. Uh, don't go towards the light, Dems the rules. Well, I will. Oh fucking hell! I'll definitely not go towards it now. It's bloody blinding. What do we got? So yeah, I, I was in here for about two minutes before when I was just testing it, but I never actually uh, properly took a look around for items or anything. And there's something coming up in like the next 30 seconds, which is really going to show how cheesy this whole this whole thing is. In before blue. Oh, don't even jinx it, man. I've been having blue screens for the last eight months. That's the one day I really don't want one. Well, I haven't wanted one at any time, but even more today. It's about time you guys got here. You're with emergency response, right? That's right. Agent Liev. How's the leg? <coughs> uh, it hurts like hell. But I'll be alright. Can't move very far, though. That's unfortunate. Listen, I need to search this place for survivors. I'll come back for you as soon as I can. Survivors? <coughs> yeah, well... Good luck with that. Excuse me. Anyway... I'll be waiting here. Oh yeah, yeah, eight months Let's worth, because we're trying to Let's pin down the problem for eight months. Just tried so many different things, and in the end it turned out to be I had to replace the motherboard. It was a, oh, it was a nightmare. It was so annoying. Like, sometimes you'd fix something, and then I wouldn't get a blue screen for, like, a few days. I thought, okay, fixed it, and then nope, five of them come in, like, an hour. But, uh, yeah, see, look. So we, we, we come in this room, we find this guy, he's all wounded, and he's like, you're a survivor, I need to go look for more. I'll come rescue you in a minute. And he's like, okay, I'll just rest. Uh, rest? I'll just rest here. He's like, okay, you do that. And what does the tutorial tell you to do? Equip your weapon, hold, and shoot. Why? Oh yeah, that's to tell you how to reload. But it's like, why even have that whole conversation with him? If you're gonna kill him, just just kill him. There didn't seem to be much point. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be me. Th this is this is you two talking about blue screens now. It's oh, it's foreshadowing. <sighs> Call this Daymare. Oh, it's gonna be Daymare for a fucking reason. Right. So, up these stairs is the furthest I've got, so it will be new to me as well. Leave to mission control, Sandman. I made contact with an Aegis worker. Oh, there we go. All new. I followed the protocol. I'm now heading to the control room to begin loading procedures. That's okay. Over. I don't like blue screens either. I know them Copy well. Oh, they are the worst. I, it's not just getting a blue screen, like you know. I was talking to Nathan the other day, he said, you know, blue screen is totally fine. I'm heading in there, like, to protect your computer. But then, then you get the paranoia that anything you do is going to cause another one. It's so frustrating. Um, oh, hey, is Butter's Bomb? BMB? Does anyone know the combination for the first puzzle? This is actually my first time playing it. Uh, this is This is all blind to me. I uh, just picked it up on the Steam sale, thought I'd give it a go. Um, but if you're asking for hints on the first puzzle, that is not going to bode well for me. Hmm. Put the flashlight. Must have had a lot of fun down here. Uh, Admiral's Diary translated from Japanese. Uh, 8th of August 19, 1945. Okay. Honor, a word the Allies' forces will never understand. Thousands of innocent souls in seconds destroyed by the U.S. atomic bomb. Not, of those, not those of soldiers. Not those of men who made a choice to fight and sacrifice themselves in the service of our great nation, but those of Pacific civilians who lived in the cities now totally cancelled. Men and women, our families are gone, obliterated by their desire for dominance, by the desire to show the world the strength of their science, the atomic bomb. But now the time has come to show them the strength of our science. It took years of hardship to develop terrible weapons. This begins to sound like Wolfenstein. The worst we could imagine arrived simply by chance. 
We had chosen to keep the Scourge, our worst discovery, a secret base because it because it was too inhuman even for Unit 74 when men were granted the luxury of releasing the darkness of their spirits. A weapon too inhuman even for war, but not too inhuman for those western people who lost all traces of honour with the push of a button. The men of this crew, the fathers and sons now deprived of their loved ones, have renamed it Shujin, the Condemnation. The world literally works and history will... Histories will remember the people behind the atomic bomb as villainous and blatant, a mass genocide that will tarnish their conscience forever. But this is not enough. Not for us. Not for the families they cancelled in one second. Perseverance is better than defeat. The new emperor ordered that Shujin be spread over the enemy. Uh, a divine noiseless wind, but extremely lethal. Our condemnation will tear their hearts out and lead them on a path to the same suffering we are experiencing. We depart from Tokyo a few hours ago and expect a long journey to the American coast where the plague will be unleashed and a story out of their science fiction novels will run its course. At this very moment, a second I-400 of the glorious Japanese Imperial Navy should be leaving Osaka, ready to deliver the second and last reserve of the plague to a top secret location in Germany. Good luck, Nathan. Unit 74 no longer exists. Swept away by a 20 kiloton blast, but its creation is more alive than ever, and it could still shift the balance of power in the world in our favor. We must do everything we can and leave the rest to fate. Admiral Shinji M. The rest is illegible. Huh. Condemnation. Condemnation sounds like a group of tiltos. Fuck. Condemnation. It's, it's a place I would weirdly like to go. Don't ask why. You never ask why. I'll have to restore power first. What were they filming? Yeah, why is there a diary from 1945 out here? Like, you read the weirdest, um... You read the weirdest, uh, diary entries and stuff in these kind of games. Uh, rapid use quick slot Q press. In order to use an item, you must first select it from the quick slot sub menu. Hold down the use item button to use the selected consumable. Using an item will cause character stats to temporarily change. Use an item may also increase the overdose value of a character when it reaches a certain level and start damaging the character over time. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so I can't use too many med kits or it'll start hurting me. Strange. Um, when the character is not affected by any changes to status, the overdose value will slowly decrease over time. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll understand that more when it happens. Uh, because it's a group of dildos. <laughs> the hot air balloons would be the big attraction. Oh my. Now I really want a hot air balloon. That you, you know, it, you just get a hot air balloon like that in the shape of a giant dick and just let it free. Just, just let it free. Just watch it majestically float through the air. Uh, this game looks pretty sick so far. Got mixed reviews on Steam recently. Yeah, I, I saw the mixed reviews, and mainly people seem to have a problem with the reloading system. Now, I've obviously yet to... yet to see what they're on about, but they seem to say it's clunky, but I mean, that's to be expected from a not-triple-A title kind of project, which is more of like a love letter to horror games, and the reloading system, so... I mean, so far, as you said, it looks it looks pretty good so far, and it feels good. Like... It, it runs really well, everything seems to be alright. Combat may be another story, but it's a bridge one we'll cross when we get to it. Bank transaction. Looks like a bank transaction made out to Jay Phelps for one million dollars. Might be an old reference. Uh, GK22 ammo. Ooh, this place looks cool. Bunch of servers. Note to trainee, I read your file, Kevin, and your resume is quite impressive. Despite your age, it seems you've already installed and maintained your share of sophisticated equipment that most techs here don't even know exist. There's a patriarch involved? Now, I'm not trying to scare you, but I want you to know exactly what you're getting into. I heard you asked a co-worker what kind of research is being conducted here. If I had to hazard a guess, it must involve the UFO they found off the coast of the island. These scientists are clearly seeking ways to permanently alter the human genome to create superhuman alien hybrids. Joking, obviously, but this is a top secret government facility and the suits here won't hesitate to lock you up and throw away the key if you give them a reason to. Places like this naturally employ state-of-the-art computer systems and machinery that go well beyond the scope of most technicians. Luckily for you, the thermoelectric generators, although extremely powerful, are very simple to use via an interface. 
Sorry if there's a lot of reading, it's just you know survival horror games. The only real hurdle you will come across is the odd time when a power outage occurs. In this situation, all you need to do is find a PC to check which area is shorted out, as indicated by a flashing red dot. Unfortunately, the repair process isn't automatic, so you'll have to restore power manually using the control panel to bypass the areas marked in red, which will turn green. If you are successful, just follow the instructions on screen and I'm sure there won't be any problems. But if you do run into something serious, give me a call and I'll send someone down to help you. Don't forget that loose lips sink ships. Welcome aboard and good luck. Mick O'Hagan, Chief Maintenance Officer. Alright. Uh, Austin Powers reference. <laughs> you hit this guy, am I right? <laughs> Sorry, bro. That was a bit... That was bad of me. Um, I don't mind the reading. Did plenty of that in Skyrim the other night. See, I used to hate... Um, okay. Um, I used to hate all the reading and stuff because I felt like it really pulls you out of the immersion. But I think it was playing um, Alien Isolation. I really got into reading everything so since then i've i've loved doing all the computers all the little files everything it's just it it it's more immersion if anything no nah, i don't know what i'm supposed to do i was oh yeah that the guy was saying when you unlock doors they'll go green or whatever uh, we did silly voices though help to be drunk <laughs> i bet yeah, the, the, I mean, there can be a lot of reading in games, especially like Skyrim. I never bothered with Skyrim. I just can't get into the lore of that that much. But but no, I imagine that would be fun. Am I, remember to pull it. Um, oh, maybe I need to know what it is I need to unlock first. Okay, I'll quickly check down here. Um... Alright, okay, uh... So where are we? We have a main area power status. I don't know where we are. Does it say where we are? Alright, well let's just, um... Maybe this is the first puzzle the other chat member was talking about. Ah! Could be. This is a bit strange. Well, what, what would be close to us? The reception hall, maybe? Oh. Actually, closed. Can I open the security room? Let's try that. Oh no, there's all these lights on the side. Okay, so maybe this is the puzzle. Uh, so let's open the reception hall. Security. Offices? Canteen? Ah, I'm just pressing all the buttons now. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Hmm. I may have to read that note again. Uh, you did find some funny books, though. The Lusty Arconian <laughs> Maid and the Gourmet's Recipe for a Souffle that contains one cup of fucking nutmeg. If you could, uh, if you could just, uh, PDF me that Lusty Argonian, I'll be very grateful. Wait. Oh, maybe I have to turn these ones on or off. R H S R S R S S L A C R C A R. So C D. Okay, let's try turn these ones on. I guess C D O F D A H A. So what would that? Oh, I forgot them already. So C D would be canteen slash dorm. O F would be office offices. So canteen dorm offices. Decontamination area and helipad access. Okay, so let's try helipad access. Uh, decontamination area, office area, and canteen dorm. No, okay. Uh, it's two volumes. Less, less the argon you made. That means two PDFs, four including me. I I would love to <laughs> to have uh not have the job. I would love to know what the person feels about writing that kind of stuff for the game. Like like you're just tasked with here, here's some 
here's some characters we need you to write like a, I'm assuming a softcore poor novel about these Argonians are the lizards right I, I'm not really too much up to date on my um, Skyrim lore <laughs> I haven't played it in quite a long time but I'm just gonna have a quick quick look around oh wait there's nothing here okay I'm done looking around maybe I should read that file again Let's see what I've got with that one. Um, files. Oh, this control scheme is a bit confusing. Oh, okay, I'm already firing a blah blah. Uh, like a few, the thermoelectric generators, although extremely powerful, are very simple to use via an interface. The only real hurdle you will come across is the odd time when a power outage occurs. I'm assuming now. In this situation, all you need to do is find a PC to check which area is shorted out, as indicated by flashing red dot. Unfortunately, the repair process is in the market, so you'll have to restore power manually using the control panel to bypass the areas marked in red, which will turn green if you are successful. Just follow the instructions on screen. I'm sure there won't be any problems, but if you run into some serious, give me a call and I'll send someone down to help you. I don't think I can call him, and I don't recall seeing any instructions on screen. I can't click on anything. And it's saying the places that shorted out would turn up green, so... Okay, let's try one at a time then, maybe? Let's just do the canteen dorm. No. Okay, um, well, Canteen Dorm is one of them, so is the office area, maybe th because that's first I should pull it? No, okay. Um, yeah, Argonians are the lizard people. Ah, right, yeah, I knew it was either that or the cat people, but I think they're called Khajiit. I'm not sure of that either. Um, this is definitely the puzzle the other dude was talking about. Yeah, first puzzle, already stuck. I love the puzzles in Resident Evil, and I really do like having a bit of puzzle solving mixed in with your survival horror, but this is... this is confusing. Wait, helipad access. Oh wait, that went up four. I usually just go one. Okay, so... Oh, that went up two. That went up one. Maybe it's not that one. That one on one. That one on one. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be filling this light thing all the way up, but. So that's the two. Do I have to do them in a particular order? Let's see, that only did one this time, not two. Hmm. Okay, now I am confused. Um. Uh, Right, hold on. If we do the canteen dorm first, and then the oh, I could I could hardly make it that screen next to me. Um, decontamination area and the office area. And then the helipad access. Ah, what is this puzzle? Um, yes, could you eat other cat people? Ah, thought so. <laughs> yeah, I never really um, I never really got too much into Skyrim. I tried modding, and that that never ends well for me. So, so that'd be the canteen dorm. Offices, canteen dorm, offices. Maybe we've got to do it in order. So, canteen, office, decom, heli. Try that. So, canteen, offices, decon, heli. Hi, okay. 
Hmm. This. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna have another read of that file. Like, like I love difficult. Well, not difficult, but challenging puzzles. But I don't get what this is. The only real hurdle you will come across is the odd time when a power outage occurs. In this situation, all you need to do is find a PC to check which area is shorted out, which we did. By a flashing... A flashing red dot? I mean, none of them are flashing. Um, are you not trying to match the green to open and red to close? I thought I was trying to flip the switches on the red ones to make them go green. Uh, unfortunately, the repair process isn't automatic, so you'll have to restore power manually using the control panel to bypass the areas marked in red, which will turn green if you're successful. Oh. Am I supposed to avoid the red ones? Wait, so I... Maybe I turn on all of them but the red ones. Oh fucking hell. <laughs> I thought I was trying to get the red ones to turn green. Not avoid... Not avoid everything. <laughs> oh. oh, cheers for that. Oh my god. Ooh, jeez. What the hell are these things? <laughs> Usually they make the first zombie uh, like so dramatic, like... He's at the back of a room and he charges at you and he doesn't just appear. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, now there's enemies. Gotta be careful, gotta be cautious. Subshaft. Oh, I knew it. Come on. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well... I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going. I just assume go back here and then more doors will be open. And some of these zombies are gonna be assholes. I mean, the zombies seem quite easy in this game so far. Like, I've only done a couple, but I already vastly prefer them over Resident Evil's uh, zombies, who take about four to five headshots to go down each. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous in how much of a bullet sponge they all are. I feel like he's going to get up. Like, they're extremely spongy in that game. Warning, power fail detected. Cargo area need manual restoration. Start the recovery. Sure. Why is there a squeaky toy noise in the elevator? <laughs> I didn't realize there it was squeaking. Wait, did two hats do? No, 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 me, me. I'm trying to look at your hats. I thought two hats came off him then. Well, I think they must have disappeared as they did. But is there a squeaky toy noise? I don't hear any then. I mean, I hear it could be those screens squeaking. Alright. It's gonna be something. Someone's gonna. Oh, I thought someone was gonna corner charge me then. There's something down below. It looks like a huge submarine Ooh. with markings that resemble biohazard symbols, and could the flag really be Japanese? Big shots 
Titter-ridden cow curls the milk. Do you not hear that? What the fuck? No, I didn't hear anything. Like, I, I don't know if it's you messing with me or not, but I didn't hear any squeaks. And why is this guy obsessed with that a submarine here is Japanese? Like, I thought we were somewhere in America. I'm sorry, I thought this was America. Oh, bollocks. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, I've got no ammo. What do I do? Oh, I've got another gun. Nice. Mm, weaker bullets, but I makes sense, I suppose. Oh, Fortnite championships, here I come. I genuinely heard like a squeaky toy when you were staring at it. Oh, God, I was reading that. I didn't even see him get up. Jesus, okay. Um, I genuinely heard like a squeaky toy when you were staring at it. Maybe reloading before Maggie's empty waist rounds. Oh, really? I mean, how much, how much do I have? Because I picked up a couple boxes. Wait a minute. What weapon is... GK22... GK22... I don't know what weapon this is. Do I I'm just wondering myself. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't tell me what anything is. But... Alright. I guess we'll see. I mean, that would be really really crappy if they did that. Like, maintaining realism, sure, but... You don't want to have a game where you just waste ammo. Because people ins instinctively have, like, you know, an instinct to... to reload. Oh, okay. JK-22 sounds like an SMG. It doesn't sound that powerful. Oh, screw you. I am more of a stun and run kind of survival horror player. I don't like wasting too much ammo. He's feisty. Oh! Oh, move, 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 move. Oh, well that missed. Can I get through? No, oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the shit? Okay, desperate times. Can't tell if I'm hitting him. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh my god, okay. Don't I don't even have a melee weapon. Maybe I'll, maybe I can just get through the door. Oh, it was a loading screen as well. <laughs> right. Um. Like I have ammo left, don't I? Yeah. So why can I not? Well, people did say they weren't enjoying the reload system. Maybe this is why. I don't even know what what's happening. Um, uh, you got to put ammo on your quick bar, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, use? Is that my quick bar? No? Um, oh, wait, hold on. Is it from this? No. Um. Oh, empty magazine. I don't want to empty my magazine. I want to fill. Um, I think that's what the hint said. 
Oh, right, okay. Um, use. Hmm. Oh, damn it. Okay, uh. Could be wrong. No, no, I think you are right. I'm just not understanding how to put it on my is it could be under here thanks for as a result long story cooperation which edited Admiral's diary no it's not there um there's got to be a way of doing it inventory weapons oh I can't even um can't even interact with it. Um. Mm. Hold on. Uh, when you choose the ammo, the ammo you can scroll to combine and combine it with a gun. I tried that. It didn't seem to do much. You got that. Combine. But I think it's just letting me combine it with the other ammo. It doesn't let me go up. See, it, it's lighting up. Oh. Yeah, okay, now I, yeah, people will, now I see how people have a problem with this. You have to go to inventory, select them, combine, hit to that tab, and then combine again. Uh, you may need to take a magazine out of the gun. There's a minute long video to show you how from the devs if you like. If the developers have to make a minute long video on how to reload a gun in a game, then they have not made a good system. Actually, I better reload that um, SMG as a backup weapon as well. Alright, interact, combine. Ah! My god. Interact, combine. Okay, I don't have any SMG ammo, alright. Um, of different methods on how to reload. Oh! There's different methods? Huh. I mean, is, I don't know if this pauses time. It does not, okay. Makes sense. So you can't... I may need to look it up sometime, actually. Because... I need to reload on the fly, going to my thing and going through all that is not going to be a great way. Um, you can get magazines and fill it with ammo to quick reload. Uh, oh, so I've got to find magazines to do that? Like, I can't just, like, pick up a box of mag- a uh, box of magazines. Oh, oh bollocks. Jeez, how quickly is my health going down? God damn. Okay. Uh, from near inventory data, it's possible to create certain items and create new and improved ones. By combining basic ingredients with hexacore additives, the player can create items usable from the quick slot summary. By combining RUF of the same type, a significantly more powerful version of the original will be created. Alternatively, when you combine that RUF of different types, an item wielding the base properties from each will be crafted. Okay, uh, not sure if it just shows a magazine in the inventory. Hmm. Energy drink. Okay, let's try, um... Can you gradually clear this magazine? Okay, so if I can just click use. Okay, so that's slowly putting my health back up. And oh yeah, I see the overdose meter thing. Okay, well this one is a bit strange to say the least, but I think it's just something you got to get used to. Right, uh, Hexcore Biogenetics Encrypted File. File code HB194. Server, blah, blah, blah. blah. Probably not a real site, but it'd be cool if it was. Right, um, 
I want to leave just yeah. Let's have a look around here. So there's that room there, but it doesn't look like it can even be interacted with. No. Okay. Um. Let's try in here. Ooh. Don't. Oh, you dick. See, I don't trust zombies that go down in one shot. Definitely don't trust them. Uh, subject, maintenance and renewal of containment rooms. Note to supervisor. Dear Dr. Everett, by now you're probably sick of my many appeals, but I really must insist that maintenance system for controlling temperatures in the containment rooms be remedied immediately. The system is supposed to automatically turn on once the air reaches a specific a specified temperature. Instead, I am forced to send one of my people to adjust it at the terminal outside the room which regulates the, lead, the level of nitrogen via spectrum every six hours by hand. BY HAND! To avoid further inconveniences and to fulfill your managerial responsibility to mend the system, please, please send another technician to fix the damn machine. I sincerely appreciate the assistance. Dr. Jeremy Fuck. Lead researcher BL1, Aegis Labs, no North Blue 2 facility. Uh, yeah, I think you had magazine in your inventory, but drop them when reloading quickly, since there's a reload slowly option. Ah! Bugger. I will have to break that habit of reloading after every shot, then. Ah, so all that ammo I picked up is just gone. Mag. Okay, so if I do that, and then I hold R. Ah! Okay, you could pick them back up if you could. So they're still there? So they're just lying out there, doing nothing? Oh. Fucking. Okay. <laughs> they're gone now, I'm just gonna have to. Accept. Eight pages? Alright. It's story time, kids. Researcher diary. Archive file. This diary belonged to an Aegis researcher. Some of the dates are circled in red ink. 1995. Pollux. We can finally create the perfect soldier. Strong, resilient, and self-repairing. And to think that most of the grunt work was done by none other, th none other than ma- Was done by none other than Mother Nature herself. Be right back, making coffee. I do not blame you. <laughs> Uh, for some reason, the local jellyfish, which are already capable of amazing regeneration and inhabited by the sunken vessel, whereby they became exposed to the chemical agent. From there, they reproduced generation after generation, growing stronger with each mutation that altered their DNA and birth hybrids. We studied these new aquatic life forms, outwardly similar to Hydra... Cynidaria? Cynidaria? Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. But far more aggressive and much more dangerous. In time, we'll use our study to create a new virus that can turn regular soldiers into genetically advanced war machines. But in the meantime, all we can do is wait for the government to fulfill its promise in order to begin human trials. 1997. If I think back to just a few years, it feels like a century ago. Although Castor is now the pinnacle of modern BC warfare, Pollux is also on track to fruition. The Hydra Cnidaria finally gifted us its firstborn. We've had a major breakthrough, a passing of the torture sorts. Even if it would be foolhardy to hide the fact that we need more time, time is something that the army and government officials just won't allow us. They've promised uh, Pollux to their allies and Pollux they shall have. The only issue we haven't been able to solve, one that puts the entire program into jeopardy, is this. The perfect soldier we prototyped is anything but perfect. We've injected the virus into hundreds of candidates with wide genetic variations, yet we're nowhere near a solution. In fact, in just a few moments, and few, in just a few minutes, the virus begins to strengthen its host, although no visible external changes are apparent. In just two to three hours after infection, Pollux is able to is able to regenerate cells and tissue, progressively increasing the power and resilience of its host. This is a truly remarkable accomplishment that will advance medical and military research by decades in just a few short years. 
If not for the grave side effects that have afflicted almost every subject during experimentation, all the physical enhancements afforded by the Pollux virus are subordinate to a single inescapable necessity. The host assimilation of specific hormones that balance and regulate the body, which are otherwise produced by the hypothalamus. As long as large enough quantities of these hormones are assimilated in concentrated doses due to the demand of accelerated metabolism in enhanced organisms, the subject's psyche remains lucid and aware while strength reserves and regenerative powers remain under control. Oh boy, I'm actually getting dizzy from reading all this. However, when these hormones become absent for prolonged periods, the first signs of mental deterioration appear, causing blackouts and gradually destroying all forms of conscious decision-making. After that, in most cases, the body undergoes unpredictable physical changes that lead to its eventual total destruction. What we need to accomplish in the remaining months afforded to the study is to find a solution as the project as a whole is at stake. 1998 Government agents regularly visit the lab and help themselves to experimental data. Excuse me. <sighs> and samples from the most important studies. We've lost a lot of sleep in the past few months, but haven't been able to figure out the hormone dilemma that's been plaguing our research, other than administering a large amount of synthetic hormone to Pollux infectees. The military and strategic purpose of viral weapons is to keep the host in an intermediate state whereby physical abilities are greatly enhanced, yet always under conscious control that responds lucidly to orders. The only way to achieve this is to force subjects to inject themselves with hormones. All of this, of course, is inevitably subject to a series of unknowns that the military doesn't seem to care about. I wonder what would happen if one of these subjects turned against its creator, intentionally or not, able to take the synthetic hormones among other things that are limited on the battlefield. Unless subjects are damaged beyond reg regenerative capabilities, these potentially unstoppable and lethal soldiers could just go on a killing spree with no one to stop them. That is, until the absence of the necessary hormones causes its own self-destruction. And this isn't really a solution as one test showed when a subject infected by Pollock, somehow gifted with increased intelligence, took a researcher captive inside the lab. After several hours of negotiations, the subject, obviously suffering from mental deterioration, tore open the researcher's head and devoured his hypothalamus in a grotesque feeding frenzy that afforded it the necessary hormones it was lacking. This extended its life by several hours and it regained some intelligence that was lost during the experiment. As far as I'm concerned, despite however many years I've dedicated to this program, PLX-731 is officially just another failed bioweapon experiment. The reason for its failure lies in the inability to produce, even artificially, the necessary hormones to maintain life and sedate its host. Apparently, however, the higher-ups have their own ideas regarding this. All we can do now is narrow down the search and do what they tell us yet again. <sighs> Still reading. Yes, <laughs> these things are so long. Look. So much to read. Like, I enjoy reading them, but... They really need to just do it in shorter bursts. But it does make for some interest in reading. So they are really, really good, detailed. Huh. Probably has to do with the chamber's cooling system. Alright, why am I messing with it? I don't know what these weird jellyfish things are. Uh, single one nitrogen stack use activated. Oh wait. Uh, I don't know what that's for. I'm gonna press it anyway. Oh. Uh. Oh, what's happening? What did I do? Uh. Am I meant to? Fill up the tanks. Make them all equal. Uh, mouth words. I missed it all. Oh, you're lucky, man. Oh, I don't know what's happening. You know, what, I'm gonna leave this for now. I don't know what I'm doing with that, and there's no point in wasting time. But yeah, definite mouth words. There's so much. I should grab Pollock. Mm okay. So what do I need to 
understand about this, because that didn't really give me much... Well, I say it didn't give... Okay. Uh, chamber temperature 15 degrees. That's number one. Temperature anomaly detected. That's great, but it... What's it supposed to be? That's 20 degrees. I'm pretty sure that thing I was reading didn't say anything about degrees or what anything needed to be. So I'm not sure if this is just another case of trial and error. Um, can I minus any from you? Go to you. I mean, is it simply just take it away and add to the chambers? No. I mean, I didn't think it would be, but... Um, does it say anything else on it? Does number one need to be minus 15? Like, do I have it at minus 15? Okay, it's minus 50 now. What did computer 2 want to be? Minus... Wait a minute. That needs to be 20 degrees. Or is it at 20 degrees? Okay, it needs to be at 20 degrees, I think. Oh, okay. I think I get it now. I don't know what the other chambers need to be at. Um, those are big differences in temperature. Chamber and one, the screen changed from red to green. Ah, it probably changed green when I put that one to 15 degrees then. Can I just leave that? Okay, so that one's changed to green. Just like you said. That one's at green. I don't know where chambers three and four unless they're in here. Oh, they are. Okay, so four needs to be at zero. Three needs to be at five. See, puzzles like this, I can get on board with more. Not, not the first puzzle, but this. So that needs to be zero. And I don't remember what that one needed to be. Okay. The sample is very William Birkin. Oh, God, it's something. Uh. Oh, it's like he wants a hug. Why can't I sprint? There we go. Don't know how quick he is. Oh, jeez. He is quite a quick one when he wants to be. Oh. Slow reload. Slow reload. Oh, God damn it! I don't have any. But I guess I do for that one. You dead? Yeah, y yeah. <laughs> it's Kenneth. There's the squeaky toy again. Where are you hearing the squeaky toy? Like, like whereabouts? Can't reload an empty. See, oh, see there. I just clicked R out of habit. Oh, I gotta go stop that. All right. So if I want to reload it normally, I have to go. Oh, wait a minute. If I can go combine... Oh, no, I thought I could put that in the magazine, but I can't. Okay. Uh, the door behind the chambers that looks frozen. Oh, this one? Oh, that one. Oh. Oh, I hear it now. I think collectible. 
collectible. Uh, there must have been one in the uh, elevator. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I I didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> oh, good hearing though. But no, I, I I really didn't hear that one. <laughs> oh. I need an override cable to hack the device. What? Ooh, what are these? Hacking system. Although some doors and lockers are firmly shut with a security system, they might just contain rare and valuable resources. It's possible to crack the system with the hacking DID function. To begin ha hacking, you need a override cable. To successfully hack into the system, you must stop both cursors while they're inside the moving segments. When you stop one in their correct position, a countdown will begin. When the countdown reaches zero, the hackers fail, destroying the cable. Okay. Uh, dude, I fucking knew it. Hunk, f uh, hunk, <laughs> husk for president. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so I've got to stop the curses. Oh what? Oh, it's no, 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 no. Fuck! I pressed that. I'm sure, it was in the right time. Okay. It's because you've got to use two different things. What? Okay, that's a bit awkward pressing Q. But alright. Yes, hunk for president. He's got my vote. Ooh, Jesus. That's, that was actually some really nice spark effects. You gonna do it again? That's nice. Okay, so we got some more ammo. Some sparks. That hurt me if I stand in it. I don't know why I'm trying it. Definitely hurt him. File. Hex score by genetics encrypted file. File code HB825. I mean, as much as I appreciate the ammo, it didn't really seem worth hacking into this entire room just for one box of... Alright. Alright, I'll accept two. Hunk <laughs> smash. <laughs> That's a paid service. I'm lost on that one. Unless you mean the hunk smash. Let me smash. Okay, Pollux Vial 1. Leave to mission control. PLX 731 sample secured. En route to second helipad for extraction. Do you that was copy? quick. Good job, Agent. But I'm afraid I have some bad news. The objective of this operation has been updated. Agent Krychek and Wes have disappeared. And until they've been found, we can't allow you to leave the building. Your new objective is to complete the mission of the Epsilon team and download all the research data on your DID. Please confirm status update. Over. New objective confirmed. On my way. Over. Uh, sure. I'm oh. just a war dog after all. <laughs> uh, dear, do you know the difference between hollow point bullets and normal? Uh, I don't play Call of Duty, so I'm not a weapons expert. But, no, I don't know the difference. Then <laughs> hollow point something ignores armor or something like that. I'm not. I'm not too sure. And yeah, I'm in Hunk Smash. Ah, good, good, good. My dreams are secure. Uh, Holy Point just does more flesh damage, like, not useful against. Ah, that was the one I meant. <laughs> uh, yeah, I knew that it was had something to do with um, that kind of thing, but. Yeah, I am no weapons expert. Oof. Oh, fuck, I almost made a jump. Oh boy. It's 2020. Come on, people. <laughs> oh, I bet there's one person who, who does that genuinely. 
I just learned it from games like Armor and so on. Yeah, I can imagine they would have a lot of um, like proper accurate things. terminology like tons of it as well. Oh, what's that door? What's what's that say? Wall Vortex. Hmm. Locked. Hmm, great. Now we got some nut job in a hazmat suit. It doesn't exactly sound like a infected. Then again, I guess I don't know what kind of mutants and stuff they have in this game. I don't know why developers love putting elevator sections in their games. Like, it's like we get it's an elevator, it's moving us, but a black screen would have would have just been fine, you know. You get in the elevator, black screen, you come out of the elevator. Oh no, not one of these. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna do, um. I absolutely have to recover those samples somehow. <laughs> the way he said that. I have to deliver those samples somehow. Uh, but no, I thought it was a thing in one of the Resident Evils. You had to put all your weapons in a box. That, w that was a very annoying part. The remains of Agent West looks like some asshole gunned him down. Hmm. Sandman, do you call Mutants. Me? Uh, what? Wow, why are you assuming their bodily like state? <laughs> Mutants, no typical. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Can you hear me? Assuming is bad. God damn this cocksucking storm! <laughs> A cocksucking storm. Alright, last log of Agent West. Not long, to put it bluntly. Uh, I have to deliver those samples somehow. Pulls out a cup to piss in. <laughs> we need a game brave enough for someone to do that. Jeez, this light. Cocksucking storm. Well, I guess it's one way of being blown. <laughs> See, it's those kind of quips and stuff that really go well in a fucking 90s s game. You need to get a job with these people. They need people like you. Uh, you can tell the voice acting and writing is a little crusty, but it's got a charm about it. It, it does. Like, like I don't like um, ragging on people for their voice acting. Everyone can tell it's not the best. But you're right, it does have a good charm about it. Especially with like survival horrors, because everyone knows like the first Resident Evil and that has terrible voice acting, but people still love it. Cause it's great. Ah. There we go. Yeah, it's 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 cheesy as well, and it fits in with all the just the general cheesiness of the whole game. Fucking blue screen. 
Oh, that's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff I don't understand. And I took physics as well, and I don't understand a thing about it. But that was mainly because there was a trip to Alton Towers. I spent three years in physics just for one day trip to a theme park. I I still to this day don't know if it was worth it. Isn't that chemistry? See, if it's chemistry, <laughs> it shows how bad that I am at any of them. Oh, don't make me use more than one or two. Come on, I'm still figuring out reloading. Yeah, if that was chemistry, then I'm glad I didn't really do much. I think I got a um an E for physics. So I still passed. Oof. Frick. What's beeping? Yeah, I still passed, so Yay. No that physics would have gone me anywhere anyway. Something beeping. Hmm. Uh, an E? Did you take the exams in America? The fuck is an E? Oh, is it not an E? Oh, do we do ours in numbers? I can't remember now. Um. Shit. Yeah, it's been like... Oh, what year did I leave high school? Nine, ten. It's been like almost 10 years since I left high school. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Who, please? Yeah, it's been like almost 10 years, so I, I can't really remember at all. Ah, uh, that was a bad time, though. That was annoying. Um, we do Nat 3 to hire, but I was never there, so I don't know if exams had a different ring. Ash, now that you mention it, Nat does sound familiar. What did I miss? Because I know we had like intermediates and hires and stuff, but didn't you get graded? Like specifically? Or if it wasn't an E, it was like a 5. Because I think... Oh no, it is in numbers, isn't it? Because I think it's 7... A, B, C, D, E, F. No, wait, F would be 6, so... Oh, I don't know. I think a 7 was a fail. 1 was obviously the best. Um, I know that in, like, test cards for your parents, you get a 1 to 5. Oh, no, uh, I, I know it definitely went below a 5, or further than a 5. Portrait depicting the Greek god Apollo as a deity of the sun, he brightened mankind's future with art, poetry, and music. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it went to like a six or a seven. It could have just been a six, but I know it. Oh, that slow grind. He is enjoying himself. Um, no clue, mate. We're both as close at the moment. I think one is the highest. Squeak. How are you hearing these squeaks? Oh, wow. Look at that. A Wong. Uh. A portrait depicting the Greek god Pollux. One half Dio Dioscore? With his twin brother Castor, a skilled boxer, he is said to be immortal. Hmm. Right, um there was one a couple pictures here, wasn't there? It's in that office, get collectible or or riot. Oh in this office? I don't hear any squeak. 
behind the desk anywhere? I mean, it could be in here. Can you hear it? <laughs> the private office of the founder. From here, I should be able to restore system passwords. Um, it's definitely around somewhere. Maybe through the door. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. Check it under the desk, but uh. Read these files. Oh, I don't get the point of those files. They don't do anything. Oh boy, here we go again. Part one: Castor and Pollux. Of the possible names, what could be more appropriate than these? Indeed, the revolutionary breakthrough that is Pollux could never have existed without its brethren, Castor. Perhaps the most malevolent chemical weapon ever conceived. As a matter of fact, we knew practically nothing of it before salvage of that Japanese submarine was completed in the 1970s, except that it brought irre irreversible damage to organisms that would shame even sarin. That being said, this whole program, one that will in inevitably rewrite the history of BC weapons, big cock, and elevate the United States even higher, on its supreme global pedestal, didn't arrive merely by chance. No, not mere chance, but rather divine intervention of the vessel delivering its toxic payload to our predecessors. Never reached its destination, instead of becoming haplessly entangled off the coast of the North Pole Islands in Washington State, where it remained unseen and forgone for years. It may as well be a fluke, however, that a particular type of jellyfish native to the islands came in contact with itsy bitsy doses that gradually escaped the rotten hull instantly transforming it with itsy bitsy oh wait never mind <laughs> instantly transforming perhaps evolving and infected some of the island villagers but it wasn't until the obscure crisis claimed its first human victim that our government decided to step in and take action stumbling upon the terrible truth that is in fact the only reason we're here today is due to pure and simple incompetence of the crew the funny thing about this narrow escape is that a potentially disastrous yet poorly executed revenge plot by some defeated nation overseas has once again turned out to be quite a luck for us Let's see, uh, it's definitely around somewhere. Look on top of the statue. Sounds like it's from the statue. Ah, okay, I will take a look. I don't know why I can't hear them. <laughs> like, I, my game's not even quiet. Strange. Maybe I'm just immune to squeaky noises. Part 2. 1973 was the year when the Aegis Laboratories were built on the island designated North Blue 2 in order to safely extract and repurpose the liquid gas we discovered in that Japanese submarine. I still remember the salvage operation and construction works as the company gave me free reign when it came to most of the architectural and design choices. We were able to free part of the hull from its seabed tomb then later built the concrete bunker that currently houses it. It was one heck of an engineering job but the facilities we use today are more than worth the immense effort. The lower levels of the North Blue facility, the most top secret ones, contain the submarine. At most vital experiment rooms, while other levels contain the observation deck, loading area for shipping of sensitive materials, additional labs for storage area. On the other hand, the top levels, accessible by ordinary staffers, include office space, a conference room, modern server room, and necessary amenities. Most of the people who work here have no idea what lies beneath and are ignorant to the fact that they are parading around a m m parading around a monument where history is being rewritten every single day. Come to think of it, I doubt anyone truly knows what's going on down here. Uh, getting old and deaf. <laughs> well, I can't even remember the school grades we got. So you could be on to something. Part 3. Castor could possibly be the ultimate weapon for large-scale chemical attacks, yet the dispersal method is surprisingly simple. The CSRO3 gas is compressed at very high temperatures in special reinforced oh fuck me that are loaded into an aircraft when the aircraft reaches its target single or multiple caster cylinders are jettisoned once they strike the surface the release mechanism is triggered and three shielding petals open up leaving the inner cylinder exposed at this point the CRSO3 is released at a high pressure which converts the pressurized liquid to a gas making it extremely volatile this is where Castor shows its unique colours. The gas then expands rapidly like a mighty flame and feeds on the oxygen in the surrounding area, creating a sort of closed off environment that makes it nearly impossible for any breathing organism to survive. Gradually it will lose all effectiveness and dematerialize, leaving no trace behind. 
If a large enough quantity were to be spread to highly populated locations, it could afflict thousands upon thousands of victims within seconds, instantly consuming a population for a military or a group of unpleasant and expendable mercenaries sent out to the scene of a confrontation. <sighs> See, you read all that and I still don't get... There it is. <laughs> oh. Nathan, you are a god among men. Right, I want to have a quick look around here first before I do anything, though. Because I feel like that's going to trigger something major. More chemistry. Actually, I don't know if that is chemistry. That could be physics this time. Because those looks like physics equations. Nice. Going pro in Tamer 1998. Speed run. Collecting all the... All the little... Uh, what are they? Raccoons or something? Ooh, or beavers. Shit. And I was supposed to save the last one for myself. Uh. No, no, open the door. Oh! You're a bell end. Why can't you just open a door? Oh, I hope we can't come outdoors. I can keep an eye on it. This is such a weird, weird way. Um, I gotta be right back for a short while, babe. It's mathematics. <laughs> okay, sure. No worries. You gonna come around? Oh, you are. Ooh. Looks like he partied a little too hard. Yeah, it reminds me of um Resident Evil 2. Uh where they have the party set up for Leon and he've just got uh, Marvin in the corner. <laughs> but that's a really nice blood effect. It's a nice splatter. My throat's actually starting to hurt now from all that reading. Like, it, it was uh, tickling a little earlier, but now it proper feels strained. You hear a beeping. Where's the beeping from? Uh, I don't know, I think it's the light for some reason. Hmm. Either way, I don't think there's too much I need to worry about in there. Can I leave? I can't leave the zoo yet. Yeah, I know, I know. I just... I took a chance. K. Backer. M. Silverwa. Could that be a reference to Metal Gear Solid? Because I know the one of the main characters is Meryl. She's called Meryl Silverbra. And obviously A. Wong is Ada Wong. K. Backer. And I know there's someone in Metal Gear Solid called Kenneth Baker. Am I just connecting things that aren't there? But the M. Silverbra though. And the A Wong, like A Wong, is definitely a reference. Like, there's no doubt. I'm gonna have to start checking people's desks. But no, I always love like little references and stuff. Nice little details. Nice homage. Yeah, it it really is when they when they do stuff like that. Like it just shows like they know that um. They've based it a lot on, uh, you know, like old Resident Evil projects and stuff. But it's just nice to actually have something concrete in the game to show, like, yeah, this is what we've done, basically. But here's, um, you know, just a little nod towards them. Oh, God. Cast the light unto the darkness, and there shall be no storm for which he cannot save you. 
Hmm. I would write cocksucking storm, but this is all in Greek. Uh, not Greek. Is it Greek? Latin? Greek? No, yeah, Greek. Greek alphabet. Uh, cast the light unto darkness, and there shall be no storm from which he cannot save you. Oh my. I don't really know. Him. The only one I know is that one. Because that's Sigma. It, that one's either Alpha or Omega. I'm going to assume Omega. Oh, I don't really know anything. Well, it's, it's definitely got to be with those statues outside, or a portrait depicting the Greek god Castor, one half of the dioscope with timber pollock, brilliant horse tamer, and protector of weary sailors. So I'm looking for something to do with the sun. In possession of the golden, I can't have the ability to heal any wound. Can look at that one. So I'm looking for something about casting light. Skill boxer said to be immortal. Chronos, fire the Zeus, devoured his children for fear the one would usurp his power. Wow. What what a painting to have right next to a reception desk. You just come into work and you see that every morning. Fuck it now. A portrait depicting the Greek god. Hephaestus. He lived in a volcano and was a god of blacksmithing. Maybe? Depending the Greek god Ares said that his beauty is equal to only his lust for violence. Uh, what about that one over there? I don't think I saw this one. Apollo is... Ah, deity of the sun. He brightened mankind's future with art, poetry, and music. Apollo. Is there any way I can just type Apollo into this? Um. Uh, maybe? No, okay. Um. Uh, I don't know what Apollo is in in the Greek alphabet. How am I supposed to know that? I don't really have a Greek alphabet translator. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else I can go. Portrait depicting the Greek god Apollo as a deity of the sun, he brightened mankind's future with art, poetry, and music. Um. And I don't think I've picked up any files telling me how to read Greek. And it definitely seems to be Apollo. Cast a light unto the darkness, and there shall be no storm from which he cannot save you. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm really not... I'm really not getting how I'm supposed to do this one when there's no... Uh, what do they call it? There's no key for it. So I don't know what I'm supposed to be translating. I guess I could look it up on my phone, but I feel like there's a way that they want you to do it without doing that. It's an old, elegant typewriter. <laughs> uh, see, stuff like that. Nice little references. Nice little references like that. They're always welcome. Always nice to find. But I really don't recall anywhere having anything Greek as such. Uh, 
Um, Yeah, even on the whiteboards, you think it'd be written down somewhere, maybe? But it doesn't seem to be. You know, a little sneaky post it notes or something written on a whiteboard. There is this elevator here. Okay, it needs to get the Pollock sample, okay. Alright, so this is the only way to go. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. That's a nice painting. Like they they're kind of doing this thing with um with how Resident Evil 2 is as well like this seems to be some kind of uh laboratory for hideous scientific experiments and it's all kitted out to have all these fancy paintings and statues and stuff and probably priceless pieces of art like that and Resident Evil 2 had a police station and that was very elegant and stuff. And then it turns out, I don't know if it was in the original, but they said in the remake that it used to be a museum that got renovated into a police station. Um, so they kind of have the same same kind of deal where it seems to be a, a building used for one purpose, but has the look of something else, like completely different look. Which is nice. I do really like this, uh, the look of the place. I'm going to assume this is the director. He's even got his little slippers on at work. Alright, it's got to be Apollo though, right? Cast a light unto the darkness, and there shall be no storm from which he cannot save you. And then a whole Greek alphabet. Um, right, you know what, I'm actually going to look up the Greek spelling of Apollo, then I'll know if I've actually got it right or not. Like, it, I don't know if it's cheating or not, but, but I, I honestly can't think of anything where I could even get, um, where I could even find any of this. So I don't recall coming across anything that showed me how to read Greek. Hello, Chief. Hey, welcome back. We are stuck. I have returned. Oh, just in time. Yeah, we've come across this thing, and it's like a riddle, and it seems to be pointing to a painting of Apollo, and then... I felt like I had to type Apollo into this keyboard, but there's no L. The only one closer to an L is that. But I tried that and it didn't work. So I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. Bro, there's chess on that PC. Just play that. I wish I could. I fucking love chess. I haven't had a good game, good game of chess in a while. Right, so... I've checked on my phone how to spell Apollo in Greek. Like as I said, I know it, it, it's probably cheating to do that, but I can't find anything that allows me to read Greek. Oh, dude. Travel chess. So I'm just going to go ahead and type this in. Because I, I don't want to be stuck at one thing for so long. Like, I love finding out how to do things on my own, but if it's just not working, then there's no point... Uh, spending all this time oh wait a minute hold on those symbols are different on the screen oh hold on a minute 
If I got to type Apollo. Or is this just what it's supposed to look like? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, that's probably just what it's supposed to look like. Oh, was, oh, that would look... Okay. <laughs> Half-Life. Okay, we'll try that then. So, A, and it's N, and then the O with a thing above it. I'm just going to try that one. Oh, what would that one be? That one? No? Oh no, would it be that one? Yeah. And then a double U? Uh, that one? I don't know what that one's supposed to be. And then a V. But there's nothing resembling a V at all. Uh, that seems a little far-fetched for a puzzle. Just guess the player knows Greek. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. But I can't find anything. Um, I, I mean, the, the puzzle itself says, Cast a light unto darkness, and there shall be no storm from which he cannot save you. So I thought, casting light, that's got to be um, like a clue, obviously. And I looked around all these paintings and I came up with this one and it says a portrait depicting the Greek god Apollo, a deity of the sun he brightened mankind's future with art, poetry and music. So I assumed, okay, the password is Apollo because that's the one that the poem's referring to. But, but there's nothing here. So I'm very confused. But I did find out that th this Old Coot's probably the director and he was wearing slippers. So there's that. Hmm. See, even the notes I picked up, none of them were, were any help. I think one was telling you about Greek, but it didn't tell you how to translate it. It was just telling you about Roman emperors and whatnot. Or Greek emperors. Uh, the fucking NASA astronauts are on the wall too. Apollo 11 or whatever. Astronauts. Oh really? I didn't notice there was an astronauts picture but I didn't. Pay too much attention to it. Hmm. What could that mean? Because it's still a Greek thing. But you're right. It does seem to be pointing more towards it still. But I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Um, I'm interested in this. Well, like astronauts or this puzzle? <laughs> See, you can't use the numbers, so I can't really type in Apollo 11. This puzzle. Yeah, I really enjoy doing the puzzles on them. But some of them can get a little... Um, you know, it's like... The developers know it, and they kind of just expect players to know it too. But to be honest, I do enjoy having to look around a few times, making sure I've got clues. Because in the, the newer Resident Evil games... They were so easy. Like, it, it was no challenge at all to find any clues. But in here I didn't find anything. I keep hearing this beep. But I've been hearing this beep all the time. It's not like the squeak that you were hearing. And I was checking, like, the whiteboards. There's nothing on those. Uh, yeah, 100%. You're right. Yeah, they're just way too easy. 
There's no challenge in it. It's more of like, oh, we have to shoehorn a puzzle in here. Because that's what people want. And that, To be honest, I would rather they didn't put puzzles in. Because it just seemed to be like a waste of time. Uh, I keep thinking of that red icon on the screen as a face. Kind of creepy. I think the beep is light bulb above you. Yeah, I thought it was a light bulb. but Because there's one out here as well. That you can hear the beep next to this desk. But it seemed weird in the other room when the light wasn't even on. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought you were going to look at that painting. Oh, I've been in there. Security system. Oh, do you want to see a really fucking freaky painting? Saw this one searching around. I was saying, on your way to work every morning, like this poor receptionist has to see this. He has to see a crazed god eating his child. Like, I already told you the day how traumatized I was from the beginning of it. And this is what this is what it comes back to. <laughs> Beautiful, yes. <laughs> uh, who's that? Oh, I think it's just a blood stain, maybe? Could be glitched because I was shooting that guy. Um, right. So it does seem to be pointing to Apollo. The god names are capitalized. Shine light on it. Oh. Really? Shine light on it. I mean, they are capitalized, but I think that's just to show, like, who the names are. The blood I meant, but I guess it's just blood. Oh, right. Uh. Yeah, I think it's just glitch because I was shooting this guy here. I was shooting him like from this angle. So when I shot him, yeah. Um. Definite. Definite link to Apollo 11. Why fucking Greek though? <laughs> Delete character navigation confirm. Cast a light unto the darkness and there shall be no storm from which it cannot save you. Is that telling me to shine my torch somewhere? And there shall be no storm from which it cannot save you. Cast a light unto the darkness, and there shall be no storm from which he cannot save you. Like it, like it seems to be Apollo, but I can't type Apollo in. Nor can I type a Greek version of Apollo because it seems like even if I can Google it or like you send it to me, uh, I want to, but I have no idea how you're supposed to know. Oh, is it one of those? Uh, okay, if it's one of those puzzles where there's no hint towards it, um, okay, you give me a hint and I'll try and figure it out from there rather than it just, you know, blurting out the answer. Because I, I really don't get what I'm supposed to be doing here. Like, I, I, like I get the, the paintings and stuff. But I don't quite... Get, like, it says shine a light? But that just seems to be more of a clue towards the, the god you're supposed to choose. Okay, one sec. Alright, no worries. 
shine a light towards the darkness. Now it's just making me think of a torch, like using my torch. Okay, so I don't know how to explain this in a helpful way. No, it's cool, just if you could just like even point me in the right direction. Or like just say a room I need to go in. This is relevant to the paintings. The person who shines the light is a what? Kay. This is relevant to painting. The person who shines light is a what? Um person who shines light. Read paintings. O okay. Uh, a skilled boxer. Uh, father of Zeus. That's. He lived in a volcano. I was thinking a volcano, but there are some in the room with the PC too. Right, one sec. It said that there's beauty because only lust for violence. A room with a PC. Was there any paintings in here? I mean, I saw these ones, but... These just look like cells. And I can't read them. That's why I thought there wasn't really anything in here except some ammo. And that just seems to be equations or formulas or whatever. I don't believe there's any in this room. And I yeah, I checked down here. You can't interact with any of these paintings. Uh, not the right room. It has to do with the paintings. A person that shines light can be called what? Uh, a torch bearer? Um, a person who shines light. A person that shines light can be called what? I mean, if it's on the paintings... Uh... A god? And if it's a god, then that would probably be... Zeus? Uh, Kronos. Go in the room with the keyboard. Wait. Keyboard? Oh, you mean this office? Check the paintings. Okay. Uh, horse tamer and protector of weary soldiers. Possession of the golden fleece had the ability to heal any wound. Oh, that's the only picture. And then there's just a picture of a city. Check painters. Read the names of the gods. Okay. <laughs> a Greek hero, Jason. Ca oh my god. Really? They went with Castor? Uh. Why? <laughs> Such a, such an annoying. Can I even type that? Like, how do I type that in Greek? Yes. Do I just have to spam the letters to see which one comes up as a C? Because I know I I know that's not right. But you type it in like a real keyboard. I just made it overly complicated for you. <laughs> No, you're leading me on the right lines. I, I wouldn't have got the caster thing, though. 
So wait, so okay. So if I go C A S um T O uh R that no matter oh there's more <laughs> no matter the injury it will never end his journey well that's the fucking golden fleece that's Jason right yeah now I get what you mean about how we're supposed to know the the keyboard like if you didn't say just um, type it in like a real keyboard I wouldn't have understood that at all because usually in these kind of situations you have to type a specific word in their specific keyboard. I don't really get how the hints relate to the names. Yeah, I didn't get how that first one related to the names at all. I thought it was Apollo because it said something about casting the light. And it said Apollo bought light, so I assumed Apollo. Uh, but you're not correct. I'm not correct? No matter the injury, it will never end his journey. When you're talking about injury, it says, um, according to legend, has the ability to heal any wound. So I've got to look for maybe someone with an injury. The boxer. There's that one. He was a blacksmith. Um, Ares, uh, you said to be immortal. Oh, okay, so that would be um, the boxer dude. What was his name? Pollux. Uh, yeah, see, it's. I don't feel too bad about. I I, I wouldn't even call it cheating. Just getting a decent amount of help because. You're right. How are we supposed to know this? How is it? P I I yeah. and X. Yeah, this is uh oh, okay. Long and perilous was the journey of the Argonauts to enter into its position. Okay, I know this one, and if this one isn't right, then this one is very misleading. Really? <laughs> You're talking about the Argonauts, and it's not Jason. Oh my god. Long and perilous was the journey of the Argonauts to enter into its possession. I mean, everyone knows it's Jason and the Argonauts. So what the fuck? <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay. Long. Okay, I did a caster and Pollux. Uh. Wait, never mind. You are, but it's the caps. Caps. But I'm not putting the god. Oh, I'm not putting the god's name. That would even have a um caps. Oh I have to type golden fleece. Oh my God. I guess the clue said he wanted its in its possession, but every other one had a name. Uh okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make up excuses. <laughs> that was my bad. Oh god, this is really awkward to type. I'm trying to figure out which one's uh, which one is everything. I can't even put a space on this, so I'm hoping this is going to be right. Okay. 
Oh, thank Christ. If you can hear me, I've just restored the facility passcodes from the Matrix. I'm in the process of gathering the 731 samples and data off the server. Over. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Nathan. That would have had me stumped for hours until I just eventually decided to find out what to do. But I mean, you gave me hints, you didn't tell me exactly what I needed to do, so... That's fine by me, I don't get how we were supposed to know that. Like, getting clues to find the paintings... Okay, I, I was kind of on the track for that, but to type it in like a regular keyboard... That's, that's just a bit much. Uh, I'm the worst at explaining shit, especially when trying to not just give the answer. No, man, you did it. You did it perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. It's this game. It's it's fun and challenging, but... Puzzles like that are just... They're needlessly difficult. Like, it's not challenge difficult. It's, um... Like, functionality. Oh, shit, I don't even need to fight you if I can get in there. Oh, of course. I'm gonna run. I'll bring him out to an open space. I don't really even want to. See, I thought it was him. Um Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I ain't looking at other answers unless you're real stuck. Yeah, that's appreciated. <laughs> yeah, if I ever get real stuck then definitely. Because like I said, I don't like just looking at answers and stuff. I don't find it interesting to just cheat my way through it because otherwise what's the point? But if... For the sake of um, making this an enjoyable thing to, to watch in that, then yeah, I will have to get some get some hints on them. Uh, am I done in here? Or I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I go back? I don't know what my current objective is. Because um, it says I need to get the Pollux sample. Oh, maybe I can go back through that room. The one that was locked down here. That's probably why there was a zombie here. Because it knows you need to come back. Oh, and that thing's closed. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. More encrypted files. Nothing I can do there. Okay, I got a feeling either one of those or both of those is definitely going to wake up. I think they just did. I can't access the archive terminal for some reason. I'm not asking you to. Inventory is full. I didn't realize I had a limit. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. Can I? Okay, I can't. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave that one behind for now. Maybe I can get it later. Oh! You're kidding me. Okay, what's my health at then? Maybe we can do that. Uh, husk ban, another TV. If you wonder why I banned someone, it's a Twitch view. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Cheers, man. Okay, I'll take a health bar. May as well. 
Yeah, I don't really know much about all the Twitch bots or whatever. So that's uh, that's a good help. Cheers, man. Like, come on, I know you're gonna be awake. Mission control to Hades. Send huh. here. Quite surprising. What is your status? Over. This is Liev. About time. What the hell happened? I've retrieved the 731 samples. Now I'm heading over to the server room to gather the search data. Over. Understood. We're having trouble with the comm system. To make matters worse, this storm isn't getting any less wild, and the loads are being pushed to the limit. I don't think it'll hold for much longer. Your new rendezvous point is the main entrance, so head there. Hurry up and grab the data so we can get the hell out of here. Watch your back. Open comms for 2236. Over. I'm guessing the server room is by this elevator, because it's the only place I think I can't go until I got the sample. Yeah, nice. Okay. So the funny thing about this game is, it's a bit annoying, but I'm still actually enjoying it more than the new Resident Evil game that just came out. That game was way too short, and not enough to do. Hey you! Oh, hey. Drop your gun and let me see your hand! Right now! Sorry. I thought you were one of those dead, melted thingies that killed the others. Yeah, well, I ain't. And you almost got shot in the head, whoever you are. You know, I, I'm no threat to you. You're just gonna I kill him shot. anyway, like you Don't killed the other say, guy. I work for Aegis, in the information, Science department. Well, mostly. I heard they cut a lot from the new Resident Evil game. Lots of my I've coworkers disappointed. Yeah, they they so really did. Help. Like I don't mean to talk over this cutscene, but they down. really. I completed I it in about five What's hours for my first play? playthrough, I'm not sure exactly. and there was so much an they didn't add from the original game. It that really was a disappointment. Well, not worth the price tag at all. Like, like maybe 20 quid at a push, but definitely not worth full AAA price. And the resistance mode definitely not worth it as well, which they shoehorn into that game as well. Drop your gun as a wrench. Oh, did he say gun? What did he even notice? You don't say. I'm gonna need that fancy ID card of yours to access the server. But why? Why do you want to access the server? I thought you were actually here to rescue us. Technically, those were your words, not mine. Sorry, bud. Orders are orders. But what, what about the others? Right. All the Is he gonna do it? You're not gonna let us die here. No, you're right. I guess I can. I mean, especially you. Oh, what the heck. I'll lend a hand. See, <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Fucking hell. Usually you play as people who want to rescue them, not fucking murder them all. <laughs> this is this is quite different. And this guy doesn't give a shit either. It's like orders are ordered, sure, but I'm gonna enjoy it. Fuck's sake. Uh, watch them sell the missing stuff as DLC later on. Yeah, I would not be surprised if they did do that. Like, I heard they're, no wor they're working on the new Resident Evil uh, Village, I think it's called. But, yeah, the Capcom, they really... You know, after Resident Evil 2, they were loved by so many. They're like, yeah, you finally bring it, brought it back to what we want. They had like a year or two to do Resident Evil 3 and they just completely fucked it up. Like monumentally. It was awful. Not as bad as something like EA or Bethesda or anything, but <laughs> or Naughty Dog. But um yeah. He had a wrench gun, he had to die. Oh mate, he just had to die regardless. Because oh, mate, this guy is fucking stone cold. Dear brother, I can't explain too much, but this chat will be useful in case something happened to me. 
in case something happened to me. Okay. Love you, James. Good evening, K. No, good evening. K gives you the green light to retrieve what we discussed earlier. God damn it, where have you been? I've been waiting two whole days for confirmation. I was about to just call it off. We had to take extra precautions to help ensure the mission is a success. You're just one part of a much wider strategy. Listen, something unexpected came up. Some high-ranking army general is arriving here this week, so they're increasing their security level. I need more time. You don't have more time. We can't afford another delay. There are measures in place to deal with these kind of situations. Proceed as planned. I'm risking my life here. A sentence of life without parole, if not immediate execution. The punishment for treason in a place like this is anything but conventional. I need me... I need more reassurance, or at least another advantage, advantage, advance from the final payment. We've already given you more than enough money to compensate for your troubles. Unofficially, I would advise you to stick with Kay's plan, or a speedy execution will be the least of your worries. Alright, alright, I just hope I have the guts to leave this damn bunker behind. Stick with the plan and all your troubles will be gone. I repeat, green light, that's all. Max is disconnected. So, one of their own has betrayed him, huh? That's quite cool, actually. Very, um... Umbrella-like this whole place is. Everyone's out for themselves. Probably get more money and whatnot. But, um... Yeah, I am gonna leave it there. It's now 2am, and my throat is really starting to get more scratchy because of all this reading I've had to do. But... Um... Yeah, it's been quite, quite an interesting game so far. Really been enjoying it, and apparently you play through, like, the two other characters as well so it feels like it's going to be a a decent sized game so that'll be um mr collectible bastard well i'm not finished this uh level yet so they could when you're on next time you'll have to find that uh collectible with your fucking elven ears because i really don't get how you can hear them but i can't and i'm the one wearing the headphones but um yeah it seems like a really good game so far and Thank you both for for uh, being here, talking and whatnot. It's always fun when you guys turn up. And cheers again, Nathan, for helping me so I all stream and everything. And you've made it a lot better rather than just using Shadow Play. Got the OBS. I'll have to try and look more into all of that stuff. But um, yeah, cheers, guys, for watching. And hopefully, you can both join me again for uh, the next part. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun, a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, you two enjoy your night, and I will see you next time.